Hi, my name is Yajir and um, yeah, today I'm going to talk to a camera again for five minutes. Uh, I don't know, it just seems like something that um, I feel really good doing. So hopefully I'm going to keep on doing this every Thursday. I hope you're okay, I hope you're safe. And uh, today I'm going to talk about something that uh, might not directly relate to your context. But I hope if you stick with me for the next five minutes, uh, you'll hopefully understand why I'm talking about what I'm just about to talk about. Yeah. Uh, I want to talk about basketball. Um, basketball is a sport where people shoot a, a basketball into a net and then they get points and then the team with more points at the end of the game wins. But then uh, the more I've uh, watched basketball in the last um, five, six years, the more I sort of understand the poetry of it. And I guess that's true for any sport, right? But um, yeah, if you stick to basketball for a second, in the last couple of years, because I have a favorite team and I support that team religiously, and the team's been doing well for the first time in a while since uh, the best friend of the world came to that team last season, I've consistently watched mm-hmm. games. It, things as simple as my lunch times would be spent uh, back in Singapore, they'd be spent watching basketball because that's when they'd be live in America just how time zones worked out and then lockdown happened and then the season got uh, suspended indefinitely and then suddenly I realized why uh, I, I, I ended up realizing how uh, essential basketball had become a part of my life even without like uh, consciously looking at it that way and then um, once the season's now the season's starting and t- tomorrow morning at 6 30 the first the first regular season game and of course i'm going to get up but uh i watched three scrimmage games and scrimmage games basically practice games before the actual season just so that players get used to the whole uh, idea of playing basketball again uh i watched the games and uh I was happy those games didn't matter none of none of that mattered but I spent time watching those games because for the first time in a very long time somebody was dribbling a basketball and I was watching them dribble basketball at the same time there was no highlights this was not a YouTube highlight thing it was live and I guess sports is such an integral part of all of our lives. I really, I appreciate, I genuinely appreciate all sports organizations of any sport trying to get sports back because it it ends up impacting our lives in ways that none of us actually think about. Sport is, uh, sports are beautiful. They end up, um, yeah man, they bring families together. They, uh, they become a topic of conversation and which works in any context and because i talked to you kind of five minutes this none of this is scripted so you can hear me doing a lot of ums um uh, i think it, especially for me uh, when i watch basketball um i'm sure it's the same is the case for you and for your favorite sport where if you like a player or if you love a team you want to know everything you possibly can about that player and then that in itself ends up becoming something that inspires you my favorite team is the los angeles lakers and i fell in love with that team because of kobe bryant who's no more and the fact that i broke down and the fact that millions of us broke down because of his tragic death it's just it's so beautiful in a way that he's impacted millions of lives just by playing the sport he loved to play and because he loved what he did, there are thousands of people who were inspired to do what they want to do. Because he taught me and everybody else that if you work harder than everybody, if you outwork your competition, you're likely to be the best at it. And why shouldn't you want, aim to be the best at what you want to do? And that's just my personal example. I'm sure the same is the case for any, if you watch cricket, if you watch football and you have a favorite player, you want to know everything you possibly can about that player because then you find they become your hero and we all need heroes in our lives we all need muses we all need inspirations because uh, how else do you keep on going when everyone around you ends up being fucked a lot it's four minutes yeah I'm, I'm almost it's almost five minutes so i don't want to take too much of your time but uh, i'd love to know if you have a favorite sport and if what i said made any sense to you whether it's cricket it's football it's baseball if it's hockey 
uh, or anything else if it's tennis i love tennis so yeah thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video and uh, you related to the fact that sports is beautiful and it's so important in our lives please do leave a comment and let me know what you think uh, there's going to be videos on the screen as you're listening to this and as i'm looking to a camera and talking so please do click on a couple of them and also last thing promise last thing if you're someone and this is in this isn't your first or second video of mine that you're watching and you haven't subscribed please subscribe it helps every little bit helps and it helps in ways in many more ways than you can ever imagine i'm gonna shut up thank you so much for watching see you soon